Now this is supposed to be the first AI bird feeder camera. So I was approached by a company called Netview to actually test out their um, camera bird feeder. Now I have had a, I have tested out another camera bird feeder in the past. It was okay. Um, the images weren't great on it, and you know when the birds were really close, it could have done with a perch away from the camera a bit more, because otherwise the birds were a little bit out of focus. So it was it was okay. It was good. But, um, but yeah, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to actually try this and do a bit of a comparison, really. Uh, so the guy sent me this. Now this is supposed to be the first AI bird feeder camera. So basically, when the birds come onto the feeder, it will actually recognize the birds, it will take an image of them, and it will send you um, a notification, and it will also identify the bird. So that's what the idea was to test it out, see how good it is at identifying the birds and just generally see how good it is at working. So the opportunity I had was we're actually away at the moment in Scotland, beautiful place. We've got this little lodge here. Um, well, I say little, I mean it's huge inside uh, with some absolutely stunning surroundings. I mean, there are deer, there are foxes. Um, I mean, the first day we were here, we saw a pine martin. How great was that? Um, but I thought this would be a great place to test it out. So I actually first set the bird feeder up outside the actual accommodation on a tripod because it actually comes with the tripod stand as well. So there's various ways of fitting it. You can actually, as I've done here, you can see it's strapped to the tree. You can put it on a tripod mount, uh, which comes with the kit as well. Um, and then, so the first few days, I actually stuck it on the tripod outside the property. Now, it, it wasn't great. Um, and I didn't know first, I mean this thing's quite colourful, I didn't know if this thing was scaring off the birds, what the issues were, but I left it there for a few days just to see how it, go, how it went, um, and it just got nothing, absolutely nothing on there at all. So then I decided to move it, so I moved it and I put it in this location with some trees around it, so the birds have got some trees to come into, then they can come onto the feeder, which is a much more natural way for them to feed. Again, the first day, first night, I set it up on a tripod here. Um, so put it on the tripod, put it here. But I think on the tripod, it just stuck out so much. It's almost like, I don't know, a pair of legs, head, almost like a person standing there almost. So again, didn't get any success. So the next day, I took the strap and the bracket, the mountain bracket, and I've just strapped it around this tree here. So it's within the trees here. And it looks a lot more natural. You know, there's no tripod sitting underneath it. it. It just looks really natural now. And we're starting to get some success. So we can show you some of the images. We can show you some of the video that it takes. And uh, so let's have a quick look at some of that now. So some of these features, and this, this is actually called the bird fee, or bird fi, I'm not sure how, how you say it, to be honest. Bird fee, bird fi, bird fi, bird fi, bird feeder. Um, 
So some of the features of it, I mean, it's got this huge reservoir for seed, one and a half liters of seed it takes, and it'll constantly feed into the base of it as the birds are feeding away, so that's quite good. Uh, it's got the AI recognition on this version. Sometimes you have to take out a subscription. The one they've sent me has got the full AI um, recognition on it. So um, I think otherwise it's a, a monthly or an annual fee just to pay for that. But you don't have to have that, you know. It takes a micro SD card, so that's inside it as well. Um, and it's full HD. So you get some really, and I'm impressed by the quality of the images in the video at the moment. You know, it's compared to the previous one I had, it is much, much better. It's really good. What I've noticed with the AI is uh, when it's doing the AI recognition, you've really got to have some fairly decent light on the bird and the bird's got to be facing the camera from what I've seen at the moment. I mean, we've only had great tits at the moment on here. We're not getting much around here. So probably when, we get, when I get home off my holidays, I'll probably stick it out in the garden, see if I can get a few more bits and pieces and see how really good the AI recognition is. They actually claim themselves, it's not great yet, it's still developing, but you know, it's picked up the great tits so far. That's the first one and it's identified them. So that's a bonus. So the other feature is you can actually watch live video. So you can actually, on, your, on the app on your phone, when you've loaded the app down, you can actually just watch what's going on on the feeder live, you know, stream it straight to your phone, just connect to Wi-Fi. The whole thing was fairly easy to set up. You know, it runs you through, when you turn it on, it runs you through the process, it downloads the app for you. And yeah, it was quite easy to set up. It's got a Wi-Fi connection, so it Wi-Fi's into your connection here. And then when you're on the phone on your app, you don't have to even be on the same Wi-Fi connection. You can be miles away and you can still actually see what's going on. What it does, it sends you alerts. So you can set it up to set you alert. So if something lands on the feeder, it'll send you alert, you can log on and you can see what's there. Go onto the app and you see what's there. And it also then just records however many seconds you set up a video. And as I say, if it can recognize the birds, it takes a photo and puts an AI record against it to identify the bird as well. Waterproof, I think, IP65, I think it was. Um, so it's waterproof as well. It's got this little hood on it that goes on, which is quite nice. Uh, you tilt that down to actually put the seed in the back as well. So that keeps the seed fairly dry when it's actually working. So that's quite nice as well. It's also got two-way audio. So you can actually listen to what's going on. You can listen to the birds on there, but also you can talk back to it. Um, so if you've got something, I don't know, you've got a squirrel maybe you don't want on there, you can start shouting at the squirrel down the phone and you can actually try and get rid of the squirrel off the feeder, which is quite nice. It comes with a little um, protector, so if you mount it on a pole, um, the feeder, then it's actually got a little squirrel protector that comes in the box. I mean, the stuff in the box is absolutely fantastic, you know. You've got various mountings, um, you know, you can tripod mount it, you can screw it to a wall or a fence or whatever. Um, it's got everything you need. And the other thing it claims is full colour night vision. Now, out here, it's been quite interesting because I've actually tried it at night. We had, a, we had a deer wandering just in front of the feeder last night. And what I find is that when it goes into night vision, I'm, I'm not sure there's something I'm doing wrong, but to start off with, it's a real bad image. Um, it's very grey, there's a big circle in it, you can't see a lot. But if you flick on, you can actually control a white light um, from the app. So if you flick the white light on and then turn it off again, once you turn it off, you actually seem to get full color night vision. Now, I don't know whether there's something I'm not doing right there. I don't understand why it doesn't work straight away. But when I put the light on and turn the light off, it seems to be fine. It seems to do exactly what I need. And here's a video I took of a deer last night. Um, and obviously, you know, it's night time, it's not, not great quality, I don't think, and the deer's a little bit far away. But yeah, you can see it. I mean, it looks quite good. And then one final thing I've got is that this version they've sent me actually comes with a little solar panel. Now I've mounted that at the base of the tree here so it's away from the bird feeder and not distracting. But you can mount it anyway. It's got a reasonably long lead on it. So you can mount it actually away from the bird feeder. 
it's got this little flexible mounting strap you know it's like one of these rubber bendy straps that you can just bend around anything so you can put the solar panel almost anywhere and it also comes again with some fixings you can actually screw it to a fence or a wall as well so there are plenty of ways to mount the solar panel as well i've had this running for i don't know five six days now um, i charged it fully when i first got it which is what you're supposed to do but then with the solar panel on, it just still says fully charged. And I've been using it quite a lot. I've been watching the live video. Um, yeah, it, it seems fine. It seems absolutely great. And the Wi-Fi, I mean, the Wi-Fi in this place we're at is not, not fantastic. You know, it drops in and out in, in various places around the building. But I've put it here, which is, I don't know, 40, 50 meters from the property. And it's picking up a decent signal and it's not dropping out and it's getting you know it's just doing what it needs to do really so that's really good as well so it, it you know it's it's its ability to pick up the wi-fi signal seems quite good I love this little perch it's got here. You know, it just sticks out away from the camera. So if the birds do perch on there before they go to it, and as I'm saying that, I'm just noticing I've actually put it up, upside down because I've got the little molding holes here and it should be it should be the way up. So I'll turn that over in a minute. But yeah, this little bird, this you know, the, and that's what I, that's the problem I found with one of the previous one I had. The birds got too close. However, on this one, even when the birds are really close to the camera it still seems to pick up a decent image, so it's not that bad. But at least with the feeder as well, you can get some nice images that are a bit further away. And that seems to be when it actually connects and picks up the AI image and manages to identify the bird. When they sit on this perch looking at the camera, that's when it will pick up the AI. But all in all, I really like this. I'm a bit of a gadget man, so you know it's going to appeal to me. It's not going to appeal to everybody, but yeah, I mean I can't fault the quality of it. You know, I love the way it gives me the notifications when the birds are on the feeder, and also the fact that I can just watch it live from wherever I am. I can I can just watch it live and just spend half an hour just watching it if I need to. Um, so I'll do a bit more, you know, we'll, we'll, you'll have seen some of it through the video. I say I'll probably do a bit when I get home as well because there are different types of birds there so we can really test out the AI on it as well. Um, but, you know, it does what it says and, and the, I say the quality looks good, the build quality is good. I'm not sure about the colour, that's the only thing I would say. The colour to me, you know, I like to camouflage it a little bit more. But having put it here in the tree, the birds don't seem to mind, so what does it matter really? Um, but yeah, that's the only thing I'd say. The colour, I'm not 100% about. But other than that, I really like it. So yeah, so that's the Netview BirdFi bird feeder. That's not easy to say. So I hope you liked the video. Um, thanks Netview for sending me this. Um, yeah, really appreciate it. And uh, whatever you're doing, have a great day. And I'll catch up with you again soon. Bye for now.